Today, we're going to talk about Google Local Services ads for roofers. Who's excited? I know I'm excited. I get real excited about these Google Local Services ads. And it's kind of funny that, you know, I mean, as a, as a digital marketing agency owner, we don't make money off of this. But I think this is really exciting for, uh, for contractors to be to really be aware of and take advantage of during this time. So, you know, if you can turn off your cell phones, turn off Facebook, if you're a roofing business owner, you know, we can really make an impact on your business over the next 60 minutes, 45, 60 minutes here. Uh, let me turn, my, let me do, do, do not disturb on my phone also. So you guys have my full attention. So today we're going to, we're going to cover Google local services ads, right? What they are, where they're active, how it works, uh, how you can jump on board if you haven't already, what it takes to, to show up in the top three results, how you can take advantage of these high quality leads uh, with, you know, with a really, you know, really low cost uh, and, and great ROI right now. So there's a few of you on here that that do know me, uh, that a uh, couple of clients of ours and a, a couple of people, other people that that I know personally. But, uh, you know, for those of you that don't know me, who am I? Why should you listen to me? Uh, my name is Jim Aline. I am the co-author of two books, Internet Marketing for Roofing Contractors and the Best Known Roofer. Uh, we are a, as an agency. We are a Google partner. I, we are uh, a premier partner of ICO Roof Pro. So we're the digital marketing partner for all the ICO Roof Pro uh, 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 contractors out there. We are a partner of the Limitless Group Buying Organization. Uh, I, am a, I am the marketing coach in Adam Benzman's Pitch Pro Movement. I'm the host of the Roofing Success Podcast. That was a mouthful. I speak at a lot of the industry events. So if you're ever out and about at the industry events, you know, say hello. Uh, we'll, we're usually there. But really, this is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis at Roofer Marketers. We help roofing contractors with their digital marketing efforts. We do that in what we refer to as our omnipresence marketing system. And there are three core principles to that omnipresence marketing system. And that's what this webinar series is built around. And so the first core principle that we work on in our, in, in our marketing system is to maximize the opportunity for you as a roofing company to generate a lead, a phone call from your digital marketing efforts. Google local services ads is one of those opportunities. Other opportunities online are Google pay-per-click advertising, your Google Maps listing, right? Your, your, your website, uh, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, social media. All of these are opportunities to make that phone ring online. So we want to help you maximize those opportunities. The second is to maximize your brand impressions to your perfect customer. You know, the more that people see your brand over and over again, it, it builds trust. And, and that's a, the second core principle to our marketing system. And then the third is to maximize the conversion rates around everything that you're doing, whether if it's running Google ads or local services ads or, or uh, Facebook ads or, or, or SEO, whatever it is, maximizing those conversion rates. So today we're going to talk first about what Google local services ads are. I kind of want to bring it back to what they're not. Um, the way I like to describe of, of how this came to be, and it's my own story, I made it up, but I like to think that Google saw how well HomeAdvisor, Angie's List, Yelp, and all these, all these lead aggregation companies were essentially ranking in their, you know, in their organic results, taking that traffic and monetizing it by selling it on a per lead basis back to the contractors in, in that in that local area. And I think the, the people over at Google went, wow, that's a good idea. We could do that, but we could do it better. And we could we could just put it at the top of the page. People don't even have to scroll down 
to see the home to see home advisor we'll just put it right at the top of the page so that's my story of how these google local services ads came to be um and so with these google local services ads one of the big differences between uh, or, or let me explain to you that this is Google's pay per lead uh, system. Below the Google local services ads are the Google ads, Google search ads specifically. That's Google's pay per click uh, marketing platform. So Google local services ads are pay per lead. Google pay Google ads is pay per click big difference there, right? Someone clicking on your ad doesn't mean that they're going to make a phone call to your business or fill out a form on your website. Um, so one of the most powerful things about Google local services ads is that it is a person on the phone with your roofing company. The Another option to receive leads through here is through messages. So it's it's essentially like someone is text messaging you directly. In a, you know, in relation to like home advisor leads, it's not someone that just filled out some form on the internet. You get sent that information and you have to chase that person down and try to get on the phone with them to set that home visit. This is a person calling your business directly on the phone with them and so that's just an extremely powerful thing in relation to lead generation right another thing that it that that they're referred to as google are google guaranteed and we'll we'll talk about that and why you're why you become google guaranteed uh, like i said it's a person on the phone with you so when the the phone numbers that show up in these ads are a google call tracking number so google is tracking and recording all of the calls that are coming through this area so that they can go back like if you dispute a lead they can go back and listen to the call and say oh yep that was a crew uh looking for work right dispute accepted here's your refund where you know a home advisor lead there's almost no reason that Home Advisor ever will give you your money back, right? Oh no, the email was valid, the, the phone number was valid. We know, you know. So all tracked through Google. Uh, again, there's three spots at the top of the page. Each, uh, if you click on any of them, it goes to the company's business profile, the company's local services ads profile. And you know, why these really matter. You know, 87% of consumers search on Google when looking for home service providers, right? This is where people go. Google is where people go. Uh, you know, it, it's really they're asking a friend or family member or they're going to Google. Those are, you know, unless you already, unless they already know a preferred contractor that they would like to use. So, you know, this is the number one place that your customers are looking. Local service ads come up first, right there on the top of the page on desktop and on mobile. They only show up when, they're, when, when a person is typing in words into Google that have what, what we refer to as high commercial intent. Commercial intent means that the, the words that they're typing in really indicate that they're looking to make a phone call, that they're in buying mode. Um, and so that's, there's, they're proactively looking for businesses to reach out to. Um, but you must have a plan to win with Google local services ads. And we're going to provide that and help you with that plan today. So the way that this impacts search, like I said, these Google local services ads show up at the top of the page, uh, about there, there was a study done by a company called bright local. Uh, and on desktop, they they found that about 14% of the traffic on the page goes to the Google local service ad, ads when they're present. 11% goes to the Google ads below that. 35% go to the, the three-pack uh, in the map section there, below the map section, 35%. Uh, and then the additional 40% of traffic went down to the websites 
that Google feels most relevant that are listed there. So 14% of the traffic on the page goes to these Google local services ads. That is an enormous opportunity, right? Our first core principle is to maximize the opportunities. Each of these areas on the page is an opportunity for you to generate a phone call for your business. So, you know, we, we want to see you in all of these areas on the page and, and maximizing your opportunity to make that phone ring. So a little bit about how Google local services ads work. First, you must complete the local services application. Uh, once you're done with that, Google will run a background check. Uh, and then depending on the state that you're in, they'll have you provide their uh, your insurance information, license information, things like that. Uh, once you're approved and active in your area, you pay, like I said, on a per lead basis. We see these leads come in at a, you know between $30 and $60. I, I have seen in some of the big, big markets like Dallas and, and Denver, uh, as high as $75 uh, per lead. I've seen this down to $15 per lead uh, on some of the messaging leads coming in. So the price will vary by city, by service type, by the lead type that you select. There's a lot of variance, but, but $30 to $60 for someone on the phone with your company. Put a one in the chat if that sounds like, like a great opportunity uh, for your business. Awesome. Thanks, Mark. I like some participation here. Otherwise, I'm just talking into the, you know, into the internet. So Bartlett Marketing. Josh, thanks a lot. Uh, how about put a two in the chat if you're already set up in Google local services ads? Yep, Justin, I'm, I know you guys are. Josh, nice, you're set up in there. You know, we, it's, it, it really is, you know, a, a really great performing asset. But I'll tell you, there is no magic pill in any of this stuff. Uh, just being in Google local services ads won't, uh, you know, won't, you know, solve all of your, you know, uh, inbound lead needs. Just, you know, ranking an SEO won't solve all of your inbound lead needs. That's why we talk about that omnipresent framework, really doing all of the things that you need to do, having multiple lead sources for your business. But, but this is one of my favorite at this time. <laughs> so that could change, right? The, this, these, uh, these leads are not going to get cheaper over time. So, you know, there, there will be a time that, that this lead cost may start to uh, not be as, as, uh, as great as it is now. So let's look at the requirements for U.S. advertisers uh, for the category of roofing, business check, owner check, um, general liability insurance, business level, uh, license on the state level, owner license on the state level, uh, there's, you can set up, set yourself up for roofing, professional install, repair, maintenance, shingle, gutters, venting on your roof, other services. Um, um, uh, uh, um, let's see, what are there? Uh, insulation. There's um, a few different gutters. There's a few different categories um, for if for a lot of you guys that are also exterior contractors. Um, uh, and, and that do siding and windows. Siding and windows were just added as categories, as as major categories. So not as lead categories. If you're if you're approved as a roofer, you have to go back in and get approved as a siding contractor, window contractor, things like that. But those leads have now become available through Google Local Services ads too. So if you provide those services, you know it's earlier in the process for those. Um, so I'd get in as, as quickly as you can. So in Google local services ads, once you get approved, it's kind of a, it's a pretty simple process. You set a weekly budget that limits the total of number uh, of leads that you'll receive in a given week. Uh, for example, $2,000 per month. If you wanted that as your monthly budget, you would set it at $500 per week. If the cost per lead was fifty dollars and your budget got spent, uh, which is which we'll talk about, 
that would give you 40 leads per month or two a day. Once the budget is spent, your ads just go offline. So you just, they just stop showing you. Now in this, you may get a different number of leads from day to day, but you'll never spend more than your designated weekly budget in that weekly period. You do have the ability to dispute leads immediately. Uh, if you receive a lead that's not valid, if home advisors calling you, you know, trying to sell you their leads, if a, if a crew is looking for work, if someone is outside of your service area, we'll go into a lot of the details about how and what, which leads that you can dispute. I do want to talk about budgets, though. I recommend setting your monthly budget as your weekly budget. Uh, so if your month, if you would, if you had a two thousand dollar monthly budget, I would set that as your weekly budget, and that's because there's a couple of things that factor into that. One thing that I I like to uh, uh, say about that is that you are telling Google I am willing to take the leads, right? By setting your budget high, Google's not thinking, okay, they have a five hundred dollar budget. That's ten leads in a week. We got them four today. Now let's not get them any for a couple of days because we might get them to, they, they, we might hit their budget limit, right? So Google's algorithm is always working in the background of when to show you, when to not show you to try and maximize that. Another thing is that I, I, have, it, I have never seen a weekly budget completely allocated that was, that, that was set over a couple hundred dollars. Um, and, and so, by setting it high, you are not um, you're not guaranteed to 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 have invested that amount in that weekly time period. Um, but hey, if some like if if you have your budget high and there's some storm activity or you know a, a, you know anything going on in the area and the search volume increases, you have the room to capture more leads when those people are searching. So I highly recommend setting your budget at $2,000, $2,500, $4,000, depending on you know, your, the size of your company, the lead flow that you're looking for, and then scaling it back if you need to. Start high. If, you've, if you maxed out and you can't run anymore that week, just pop in there, pause them, turn, them, you know, turn the budget down, and, 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 and re deal with it that way. Start with a high budget. So now let's talk about disputing. Google is actually, has their artificial intelligence listening to most of these leads now or all of the calls that are coming in. And I have seen, you'll see it if you go into your leads dashboard, for those of you who are, who are set up, um, you'll see where it'll say it. It's in a, a little gray bar across the top of the lead and it'll say, this lead has not been charged. And, and so okay. even though you got the lead, Google's AI on. can be listening to that and, and in turn understand that it was not a qualified lead. So the dispute categories, when, you're, when you are disputing, uh, solicitation is a dispute category. So if the caller was trying to sell you a product or service, was someone seeking employment, uh, the caller didn't discuss your business. They, they didn't discuss roofing. If you're, if you're, uh, you know, looking for roofing leads, they're, they're talking about plumbing, you know, um, if it was spam, if it was one of those robot calls that comes in, Hey, you need to update your car warranty, right? If it wasn't from a live human, uh, the AI is usually picking those up and just not not uh, uh, not not charging you for them. But if you do have one that got through, you just go hit the dispute button. If the location was not served, uh, so all of these calls are recorded. So make sure that when you are on the phone, you are properly using a an appointment setting script, right, and, and asking. The, the right questions to determine if this is a customer that is within your service area. So if they communicate that they are in a service area on the phone, if they say that they're in a specific town that is not within the service area that you selected, you can dispute that. Um, we, I do have a story for that. They're, they're, uh, one of the uh, uh, contractors that, we, that I coach in the Pitch Pro movement, 
uh, and Adam Benzman's pitch for a movement. Um, they have, they selected a, an area in Iowa. Uh, they're in Des Moines, Iowa and Moline, I, uh, Moline Illinois and, uh, and through that area. And they had selected a, a, an area there. And I can't remember the name of the town, but the person called in and, uh, and said, yeah, I'm in this town. And they didn't ask the state. And it was actually a person calling from the from a town with the same name in Indiana. Uh, and they were not able to get their money back on the lead because the person on the call set the appointment. Uh, they set the appointment uh, and then they called back and they were like, oh, no, that we're, you're we're, you're in Indiana, not in Illinois. So Google did not give them the money back on that lead because on the phone call, they booked it. Right. So if they book it. If you book it on the phone call, you're not going to get your money back. Um, if the services that, that they're asking for is not offered or was not listed on your profile, uh, you can also uh, get your money back. So if somebody's looking for roofing supplies or something like that, uh, the, you can get your money back on those. So feedback from our, our clients that use this, look, it's a much lower cost per lead than pay-per-click. It's a much lower cost per lead than Home Advisor. It's a much higher quality lead than Home Advisor. You still get price shoppers, right? It's it, it is what it is. They are people calling you from the internet. Um, and I think someone who was I talking to recently? I was talking to someone recently, and they they were, they had a statistic about it that like twenty percent of people are always going to price shop. Like there's that group of people out there. They're always going to be price shopping, but you know, it really is really hard to not create a solid return on investment at this lead cost, right? If the average lead cost was 40 bucks and you only close 10%, that's a $400 customer acquisition cost, right? It's hard to make these work or not work, I should say. It's very challenging for these to not work. So it's a it's a no brainer for most for most of you, right? Show up at the top of the results where your clients are looking. Only pay on a per lead basis. Lower cost than pay per click. Higher quality than Home Advisor. The ability to modify your budget based on your schedule to increase it, decrease it as you need more lead flow or or need less lead flow. Um, you know, adjusting your service area to, to, to you know, to if there was a, a, a storm event or something that happened. All of these are very powerful factors in Google local services ads. So again, we'll talk a little bit about uh, how, how to get set up. Of course, if you work with us, uh, your account manager or, or our support team will be happy to help you get uh, get set up and, and get approved in the program. All of our uh, our whole all of our account management team and support team is trained on getting getting you uh, set up in that. If you are not one of our clients, uh, you need to go to ads.google.com/local-services-ads, and I will tell you you don't have to remember that or write that down. I saw Jen said she's driving, so. You know, you don't have to write that down. Nikki just dropped it in the chat. But here's here's a like the secret trick in how to find these things. You go to Google and you type in local services ads or Google guaranteed, and the the link will come up there too. So just a little trick for you. That's me trying to be funny. But um so now when you when you get go over there, uh, you know, you just kind of fill out the form sign up, create your profile. It links with your Google business profile. So any of the reviews that you have accumulated on your Google business profile will show in your Google local services ads. So if you have 50 reviews on your Google business profile, when someone sees your Google local services ads profile, they will see the, those same 50 ads. I just came across this with one of our clients. Uh, one of our clients had I think they had, they're a master elite contractor and I think GAF helped them get set up in it or something like that. Or maybe, uh, uh, maybe Surefire Local, uh, they're like the GAF pro, pro, uh, provider or whatever. They created a new, they didn't link it to their Google business profile when they set it up. So their Google business profile has 330 reviews on it. Their Google local services ads had 
three reviews. And so what happened is, I don't know why when they set it up, they didn't link it properly. It was, it, our team would do that properly for you. But so if you ever see that in your Google business profile, if you look in your Google local services ads and don't see the lead, the, the review count that you have in your Google business profile, um, make sure that, that, that you contact Google's uh, support on this and they'll, they'll help you get that taken care of. One thing you will notice though, um, is sometimes you'll have more reviews in your Google local services profile than you do in your Google My Business listing or Google business profile as it's now called. That means that you have received reviews through the Google local services ad system and we'll walk, we'll walk you through that a little bit too. Um, and, and those are essentially verified reviews. So a couple of thoughts there. All right. So advantages and disadvantages of each of these opportunities, right? Google local services ads have advantages and disadvantages. Google pay-per-click ads have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the Google Maps area has advantages and disadvantages. Your website ranking in Google has advantages and disadvantages. So none of them are the full solution to any of your lead issues, right? But all of them together can provide an amazing result. So Google Local Services Ad still has Google's algorithm working in the background. So in a lot of the areas that you guys are in, there are 50, 60, 100 contractors, 200 contractors, if you're in you know, some of the bigger metropolitan areas, hundreds of contractors that are, all, that are already set up in Google Local Services Ads. But there's only three spots at the top of the page. So in that, you'll have to, I want you to understand how to get the most, uh, how to show up in those three, in that, in those three spots, the most amount of times. So one of the things is your proximity to potential customers. I do like you to start out with a wide service area, but a, 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 a contractor who is closer to the, the searcher may show up over you. There is a proximity factor. So, you know, if you're in Minneapolis and you're, you know, you're like, oh, well, I'll turn these on in Des Moines, you know, you might not show up a lot in the, in the local services ads if it's connected to your Minneapolis uh, Google business profile. Um, your review score and number of reviews you receive helps show in the rankings. So having a trusted presence online, having a lot of great reviews is a way to increase your odds of showing in those three spots. The main thing that we have found, and it's something that you can control, and that is your responsiveness to customer inquiries and requests. As I mentioned, these are phone calls to your business. So put a one in the chat if you think answering the phone is a good customer experience and would help you to rank in this section. Put a two if you think, oh no, don't worry about it. I don't need to answer phone calls. Let them leave a voicemail. I'll get to them someday. All right, of course, answer your phone. <laughs> right so google is tr are tracking all of these calls right it's google's call tracking number that they're calling the calls are being recorded if you were google google's overall goal is to provide the searcher with the best experience if you start if you don't answer your phone understand you are not providing the searcher with the best user experience so that is the most important thing. So in relation to that are your business hours. You list your business hours in your, when you set up your, your uh, profile. And then you can set your ads to run only during your business hours, all day, or during a custom time, during custom times. Only run your ads 
when someone is available to answer the phone, right? So make sure those phone calls are answered because if those calls go unanswered and I, I talk to contractors all the time, they're like, no, 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 I answer the phone all the time. And I'm like, really two in the morning, you're going to pick up the phone if somebody calls in. It's really not, uh, 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 it's not something that's really going to happen a lot of times. So be honest with yourself. Hey, yeah, I might, I might answer the phone at nine o'clock at night, right? This is my company. I'm, you know, I'm taking the jobs that I need to take, you know, make, you can run those ads until nine o'clock at night. Um, whether or not you've received a serious or repeated complaints about your business. So Google guaranteed means that Google will provide the, the, the person who uses your services a two, up to $2,000 um, uh, in financial restitution if you uh, provide a bad experience to them, right? So if you receive any repeat, any complaints about your business through that, boy, you're gonna, you're not gonna get many phone calls there anymore. Um, in addition, like we talked about, Google is gonna attempt to spread those leads out over time. So if you have your budget set low, it's really gonna try to spread those leads out. So having your budget set high makes an impact on that. Um, it, it really will help uh, to do that. So now we'll go into a little bit more detail into how to win with your Google local services ads, making sure that you're, you're doing the right things to optimize and, and get shown as much as possible. If anyone has any questions as we're going along, drop it in the chat. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll watch for that. And uh, we'll take, we'll have time at the end also for, for, for more questions. But if anyone has anything that's, that's pressing, feel free to just drop it in the chat. All right. So now here's the mat, some more magic, uh, you know, magic sauce to, uh, to get you showing more than the competitors in your area. So like I said, dialing in your service area, I like for people to start, or if your lead flow is low, expand your service area. You know, don't go too far out, out, don't go outside of where you would, you know, where you will travel to, but, but expand it really make sure you're, you're covering the whole uh, profile. Make sure that your profile is set up, having uh, a, a lot of great pictures uploaded, pictures of your team, pic, you know, your logo, your team, your trucks, your um, you know, uh, jobs before and after pictures, uh, uh, people inside your office working, people on uh, crews out, out at the job sites working, a, a, a variety of pictures. As I mentioned, setting your budget high. There are two ways that we see of uh, in, in your, when you set your budget, there is a maximize leads, which lets Google set your max, uh, maximum dollar per lead or you can manually set your maximum dollar per lead. Uh, I've seen it. I've seen it recently when you set your maximum that a lot of times uh, your lead flow will decrease. So I like to have it set at max, let Google maximize that, especially because we're not talking about a $200 lead, a $500 lead. We're talking about at the, the highest I've seen is around $75 so far. So, um, Mark your jobs as booked. Deal with disputes, drive verified reviews, and target an 85% booking rate. So this is an example of your profile. So in your profile, you, you get to select your business bio. It's just checking boxes. So Google has this whole list of things that you can have in, your, in, in that business bio. You get to select six of them. You can see here where it says ad schedule all day. That's where you want to make sure that is that's on only during your business hours. You see here, you can turn your ads on and off. So if you are overwhelmed by leads at any point in time, you just pop in there, turn them off for a little bit, turn it back on. You can see your job types, your budgeting, all right here. So like I said, set your budget, open it up if you have capacity, update your ad schedule, set your business bio, select the job types that you would like uh, 
to, uh, to get jobs for, set up your service area, update your business hours, and add a lot of photos. The second thing to, to, that I want you to really understand here is to mark your jobs as booked. If you set a home visit with that lead, if it is a qualified lead for your business, mark it as book. So when you go into the dashboard, there's a leads dashboard. You click into the lead. That's where you can listen to the call recording. You can add the customer name, the email. You can add notes in there. It'll tell you the lead type, uh, if, if the lead was charged or not. This is where I was saying earlier that there's a little gray box that shows above lead summary. And sometimes it'll say this lead has not been charged. If this is a qualified lead, press the mark booked button. Go into your Google Local Services Ads account no less than once a week. I recommend doing this on a daily basis. Pop in there, mark the leads as booked that you did book as jobs. Again, we're looking at Google's overall experience for the searcher. If, think about it, how, Google, how Google's algorithm works. If you answer the phone and you book the lead, you are essentially telling Google this, you were the right person to show for this service, right? Because you booked the home visit, the customer booked with you. So it's an extremely important way of telling Google that you're the right company to show. Google will rate your responsiveness, right? So if you're doing messaging leads, you have to make sure that you're responding to the messaging leads as soon as possible. You're marking them as book, adding the customer details, including the email address, archive all non-converted opportunities. So once you mark it as book, let's say they cancel or something like that, you just move it to archive. Um, three, make sure you're disputing your leads. And that's where, well, you know, when you're going in there on a, on a daily basis, you pop into the lead, you hit there, there's the three dots that you click and hit dispute. If they're outside of your area. If they're not a service that you provide, as we talked about all of those uh, way, or all of those, uh, all of the ways that you can dispute them uh, for solicitation, outside service area, any of those, make sure you're doing that. And then drive verified reviews. So like I said, your, your, your Google business profile reviews will show up in your Google local services ads account, right? So, you know, if you have 80, this company has 82 reviews, right? At, you can ask the leads that you have completed jobs for, you can ask them for a review through the Google local services ads system. Now, again, let's back it up. You answered the phone, provide, Google knows you did a good job there. You mark the lead as booked. You requested a review from this person they leave you a five-star review. All of this is within Google's leads dashboard. It's ads.google.com that you're going to, 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 uh, uh, to, to disposition these leads and to input this information. They are watching, the algorithm is watching. So making sure that, you're yeah, that the people that you're getting through Google local services ads that you're requesting a review through Google Local Services Ads platform. That's closing the loop on telling Google that you are the company to show for that area. And you can see in the reviews, you can see the one at the bottom here, it shows that it's not a verified review. That's one that they're pulling in from your Google business profile. But you see here, Google verified job, roof repair, Google verified job, roof installation, right? So it's extremely important to have that as part of your process. How do we know that marking your leads as booked is important to Google? Well, if you go to the reports tab in your Google local services ads uh, profile back in, you'll see how many leads were charged for whatever time period that you, uh, that you have set the budget that was allocated to towards those leads and the appointments that were booked from the leads charged. How does Google know the amount of leads that were booked? Because you pressed the booked button, right? 
So you can see here, this is a 56.3% booking rate. We want to see that booking rate uh, above 85%. So make sure that you are tr achieving an 85% or higher booking rate on your leads. All right. So open up your budget, right? In to increase your lead flow from Google local services ads, open up your budget, expand your service area, expand the job types that you're getting leads for, uh, your ad schedule, but make sure that someone is available to answer the phone. Close out every lead, mark it as booked, schedule it, ar archive it if it's not good, dispute the ones that are bad, request verified reviews on every single job that you're doing through that those leads. Um, so what you should do now, if you're, like I said, if you're a client of ours, get with your account manager. If you're not set up in Google local services ads, if you are not a client of ours, get signed up, complete your background check, get the tracking in place, gauge your ROI, start investing in this, uh, in this uh, lead flow, play the game when the ROI makes sense. Google pay-per-click was pennies per click 15 years ago, 15 or so years ago, pennies per click, right? Now, if you're in you know, some of the, the major metropolitan areas, you're at 25, 50, 75 dollars per click. That will not be a different thing with Google local services ads, right? These leads will continue to increase in cost over time. So make sure that you are taking advantage of that lead cost at this time. All right, so Jen said, I was told by Google Guarantee that we get points for all the categories on, from all the categories on the ads. So we get extra points for a review that comes from local services portal. Yep, up uh, booking rate, thanks. Okay, yep, so you get, you, you get extra points because Google knows that that, was, that that came from that phone call. So it's tracked from that phone call or inbound message all the way through review. So, it's very powerful in, in, in letting Google know that you are a quality contractor and you should be the one that they're showing in those three, in those three, in those three, in that, in those three spots. Um, that's all I have for today. If anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to hit the raise hand button, uh, unmute and just ask it or drop it in the chat. Be happy to answer any of that for you. Uh, if you would like to speak with us about, uh, about how we can help you with your digital marketing efforts, you can call us directly or go to roofermarketers.com and book a call. If you are not someone who listens to the Roofing Success Podcast, I'd love to, love to encourage you to check it out. It's where I interview successful contractors on you know, the lessons they've learned, the, the things they're doing well, the things that, that, that they've uh, that they've learned along the way um, and other industry experts on, on things. Uh, you can check out the video versions on YouTube. You can check out all the, the audio version on, on Google Play, on Spotify, all of the podcast networks. Uh, uh, we have a lot of other content going out on all those networks on YouTube. Check out our Instagram, The Roofer Marketers, uh, Facebook, The Roofer Marketers. Join the Roofing Success Facebook group if you want to continue the conversation around that. If we don't have any questions, if no one unmutes or if I don't see anyone dropping any questions in the chat, uh, we'll be done for today. I hope you guys, you know, if you don't, if you don't have any questions, if I provided you with value today in this presentation, please drop a one in the chat. Look for emails about future uh, webinars. Like I said, this is around our our whole marketing system. Um, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we be, we do these presentations and webinar training webinars on pay per click, organic SEO, uh, video, social media, building marketing plans, all of the things that you need to know to effectively market your roofing business. Thanks for you guys' time today. We'll talk to you soon. Let us know if you need anything.